Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon. This time we're going to finally do the much requested free roam, and I'm going to answer some questions. I uh, took down a bunch of questions. Obviously, I cannot answer everyone's questions. There was a lot of them. Uh, but I took down a bunch of questions, and I'm going to try to answer these while just driving around. It's just going to be a nice... I have two of these things? Holy crap. It's just going to be a nice leisurely drive. Maybe we'll listen to some tunes as we answer questions. We'll be in the interior view of the cars. Just cruising. Oh man, this would be kind of fun to cruise in, wouldn't it? What else we got? I think everything past that point is sort of fast. That'd be kind of cool to cruise in too. You know what? We're going to go back. I wouldn't mind cruising in the Skyline either. The old Skyline, the 71. But I think... Yeah, let's go with the Caddy. And then if we get bored, we'll go cruising something else. Oh, baby. Yeah, let's do this. So, uh, obviously, a bunch of people on my friends list are also here. I hope they don't expect some sort of games or something, because that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just going to cruise around and answer questions. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys shortly. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Oh, my gosh. And it's nighttime. This is great. We're going to go interior view. Oh, we got the dash lights going on the interior. We can't really... Look around. What are those? What are those goofballs up to? They're they're probably just gonna goof around while I go ahead and switch stations on over and over by hot chip. The enemy away from here. What else we got? Radio off. Uh, we want some tunes. Oh no, I don't want to go here. Hold on a second. Watch out, guys. Guys, watch out. All right, let's just leave it on base arena. We'll see what happens. Anyway. Let's get right to the questions, shall we? I asked that they were all automotive related, and they are. Um, first one is by Stop the Dog, and he asks, Have you ever had any vehicle accidents? <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I am actually quite a good driver in real life, and no, I have never had any accidents in my entire driving life. Um, so, so there. Thanks for the question, Stop the Dog. Next question from AJ Ortiz, and he asks, uh, Ford or Chevy? He asks three questions. The first one is Ford or Chevy. I can't pick. I'm driving a Chevy right now, but uh, my first car was a Ford. I love them both equally. <laughs> Favorite host from Top Gear, Jeremy Clarkson by far. He is my hero. You know what? We're going to turn the radio off. It's distracting. Jeremy Clarkson by far. He's my hero. Um, I want to be him when I grow up. <laughs> Favorite racing game. That's a tough one. There's a racing game that sticks in my mind, and it's Tokyo Extreme. Tokyo? Oh my gosh, I can't remember now. It was for the, it was for the, um, uh, the Dreamcast. Tokyo Extreme Drift Racer or something? I can't believe I can't remember this game. It is honestly my favorite racing game. Oh man, I'm trying to remember. Anyway, look it up. It's for the Sega Dreamcast, Tokyo something. It's Tokyo something. Come on, guy. Get out of here. I'm just driving leisurely drive. Why you gotta be why you gotta be doing that stuff? Uh, but yeah, that was my favorite racing game. Next question from uh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whippy, Whippy TV. If you could pick any car from your garage in Forza and get it in real life, which one would it be? Oh man, honestly? This thing right here. Um, I've been wanting like an old school hot rod for ages. So, you know, well, honestly speaking, I wouldn't pick this because there's million dollar cars in my Forza garage, so I'd probably pick one of those. But if money wasn't an issue, I mean, if I was just picking purely for the love of it, I'd probably pick something like this. I love these big old cars, big boats, 50s styling. It's beautiful. Oh, easy now, guys. Easy now. <laughs> just follow me. It's just... <laughs> It's just a train of people following me. Um, so yeah, thanks for the question, uh, Whippy TV. Next from D D N N. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. D N N N Productions. He has three. He or she has three questions. Easy, Bugatti. Uh, let's just park right here. Let's park along the side of the road here while we while we lift list off these questions. Number one, what is the fastest car you ever drove? Number two, what is the most expensive car you ever drove? Number three, what is the crappiest car you ever drove? Well, number one and two are the same. 
the fastest car I ever drove and the most expensive car I ever drove was the Mercedes McLaren SLR. Back when I used to do uh, photography, car photography, uh, I used to go, I used to travel to dealerships all over the greater Toronto area and take pictures of cars that they would have for sale. And uh, a lot of these dealerships were, oh, come on, guy, you're messing up my paint. Why are you hitting me, bro? Uh, a lot of these dealerships were expensive dealerships. Why? Well, I keep turning around. Let's go different, different roads. Yeah, they were expensive dealerships, so they had really expensive cars. And this car, I remember at the time, uh, was, they were asking 300 and something crazy, like 360 or 370 thousand dollars. It was by far the most nervous I've ever been inside a car. Um, I didn't have to drive it very far to take pictures of it. It really only around the, the lot. But even so, I was freaking out, man. And when I got in there, it was by it was by far the most expensive and the fastest. When I got in the car, the first thing I did was I turned it on. And for some reason, what is that guy do? And for some reason, instead of hitting the brake, I hit the gas. So the engine roared like as soon as I turned it on. And car guys know that's not a good thing to do. Uh, you don't rev a cold engine, especially on a 300 and fifty thousand dollar car um so i was i was scared for a second there i really was uh, but it worked out good as far as i know there is there is no permanent damage to the vehicle or the vehicle's engine um but i was really nervous getting into it and i think that's the reason why i uh, why i messed up these guys keep hitting me guys come on come on behave yourself it's this bugatti guy i think this guy what's his name i'm gonna take his name down Pow, pow, kids. Okay, well, you're gonna be banned. You banned, Jerry. You banned. No, just kidding. I don't care. Uh, I just want to be able to get out of here and answer some questions. Um, and then the last question he had was the crappiest car you ever drove. Pfft, I have no idea. The good thing about my job is that I drove and shot a lot of amazing cars. The bad thing is that I drove and shot a lot of really terrible crappy cars. <laughs> so I couldn't even begin to tell you which was the crappiest car. Uh, let me, I'm trying to remember if there was maybe one that st sticks out in my head, but I don't think there is. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't remember a specific car. There were. There was a lot of crap, though. Trust me, guys. A lot of crap. I remember shooting a Subaru Baja once that was not in great shape. This guy really needs to stop bugging me. Now I really am gonna ban him. Um, yeah, I remember shooting like a Subaru Baja that was in terrible, terrible shape. Um, but it wasn't the worst by far. Next question from Who's Terminator? What do you drive? What do you drive IRL? Most of you know me as driving a Subaru Impreza WRX STI. And that is no longer the case. Big announcement. <laughs> Big announcement. Exclusive. Um, I don't drive that anymore. I now drive. Well, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you because there's some creepy people on the internet uh, that for some reason are obsessed with trying to find me and where I live in real life so they look for my car and they use my car as a clue basically but I don't drive unfortunately I don't drive the Subaru anymore it was a good car for me but I decided to trade it in and get something a little more adult the Subaru is a great car but it's I feel like it's a, a younger man's car you know looking for speed and, st and such uh, I decided to get an SUV instead. I won't say which because obviously I want to keep myself safe from nutbags on the internet. But yeah, I got an SUV now, so I don't drive a Subaru anymore. <sighs> I am gonna miss it. I only had the car three years, um, but I decided it was time for a change. So thank you, Who's Terminator? Ooh, I ran that sign while reading. Thank you, Who's Terminator? Um, you are indirectly responsible for breaking news. Sebastian. Menes, when you were a car photographer, what was the best car you took a picture of? Just answer that question. Probably that, well, the best car was definitely that Mercedes McLaren SLR. The, my favorite car that I took a picture of, though, was a Lotus Esprit in white, which is like my childhood dream car. And I got to shoot that one day, and it was gorgeous. This guy, like, get over yourself, guy. Uh, it was amazing. I loved it. Just being in it was awesome. It's like I felt like an 80s rock star or something. Because <laughs> it's, it's an old car. Uh, so yeah, that was the probably my favorite car that I shot when I was a car photographer. London Lady 1, import or muscle? 
Uh, importer muscle, can I pick? I mean, I like them both. I like hot rod. I like, I like rat rods more recently. Those things are, I mean, they look so cool, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I can pick between import or muscle. Um, I've had import cars. I've never had a muscle car, but I want one really, really badly. Uh, what is the scariest thing that happened to you behind the wheel? Uh, not too long ago, I was up uh, about an hour away from home driving down on the highway and all of a sudden a torrential downpour. Now normally, this wouldn't bug me too much. However, this time my wiper decided to stop working. Luckily it was the passenger side wiper and not the driver's side, but my wiper start decided to stop working. And I was freaking out, man. Like, I felt like any second the driver's wiper would stop working, too. And, uh, and it wouldn't be pretty. Like, I thought, this is gonna be, this is it. This is the last you'll ever see of the beef. <laughs> Luckily, I made it home and the wiper continued to work. Uh, and now it's not my problem anymore because I traded the car in. <laughs> but I, f I disclosed that the wiper didn't work. So, I didn't, I didn't try to screw anybody over. But yeah, uh, that was the scariest problem so far. And even, not even, it wasn't even the wiper thing. Dude, just stop. It wasn't even the wiper thing. It was, uh, it just, there was so much rain, you couldn't see two feet in front of you. And on top of that, I was, I was in the fast lane when it started downpouring, and that's where most of the water collects. So my car actually hydroplaned for a little while there, and I temporarily lost control of the vehicle. Going 120 kilometers an hour, I freaked out. I mean, I had to change my pants when I got home. Anyway, moving on. Uh, did you ever drink? <laughs> oh man, did you ever drink diesel fuel? Uh, <laughs> she wants me to tell the story again. It's a long story. I'm not gonna tell it again. Well, basically, it wasn't diesel fuel. It was uh, 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 what was it again? Oh man, I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what I drank as a kid that almost killed me. Uh, it wasn't diesel fuel. Petroleum, I think it. No, it wasn't. I'm not sure what it was. I remember. I remember. I described it as diesel fuel in in that uh, episode. But I later went and asked my parents because I wasn't sure exactly what it was, and they told me what it was. But I can't remember what it was at that at this time. But anyway, it was some sort of fuel that almost killed me um, <laughs> when I was a really young kid, and I was hospitalized and it burned my throat and stuff. <laughs> but luckily, it didn't kill me, and I'm here today. So thanks, London lady. Oh man, are we running long here? What? How much time do we have left? I think it's only been about 12 minutes, maybe? Uh, Ma Madix? Maddox Skiing? Sure. Hey Beef, when did you get your driver's license? Wondering, because I'm interested in getting mine. Also, what was your first automobile? Thanks for the vids. Um, I got my license pretty late in the game, relatively speaking. This guy really needs to just get a life. Uh, it was, I think I got it when I was about 20 and you can get your permit when you're 16 well you could not anymore you can get your permit when you're 16 and your uh, driver's license when you're 18 so I was a little late to the game but I got it when I was about 20 and my first car oh and if you're thinking about getting it just just do it man just get it out of the way even if you don't need a car right now even if you don't need to drive if any and this goes for anybody listening if you're of age and you're thinking about getting your license just get it because eventually you'll need it and uh, you won't want to get it over with when you when you actually need it. Just get it over with now, so you don't have to worry about it later. Um, and the oh yeah, was the first car you ever had? My first car I ever had was a 2000 Ford Focus ZX3 in black, and I beat the crap out of it, but it survived surprisingly. <laughs> Let's see, Ethan Clan. Of all the new electric cars, which one would you buy? The Leaf, the Volt, the Fusion, the Tesla, or the Prius plug-in? Oh my gosh, dude, get a life. Um, I would buy the Tesla. It looks amazing. Although I was I was considering getting a Chevy Volt because they look really good too, and they're relatively cheap. Um, so I wasn't, you know, it's, it's not a bad idea if you want to get a Volt. It's not a bad idea if you want to buy an electric car at this point. Uh, at all, uh, that's it. Just looks that like that's the way of the future. So um, do it, do it. But I'd probably get the Tesla out of all those. 
I really like electric cars. I think, yeah, I think, I mean, right now the infrastructure isn't there, but eventually it will be. Uh, and it'll be the thing to have. So, what else we got here? Um, Darwin Craft. Do you watch Top Gear? Oh, hells, yes, I watch Top Gear. If so, what's your favorite episode? My favorite Top Gear episode is the episode in Bolivia. As you can see, all I'm doing right now is just uh, avoiding that guy, because that guy's being a real pain in the neck. I'm not sure what his problem is, but he needs to get a life. Look at this. Like, stop it. I just want to drive. <sighs> Um, yeah, my favorite one is Bolivia, followed closely by Vietnam episode. Um, really like both those episodes, but Bolivia is my favorite. If you haven't had a chance, go ahead and check that out, Top Gear Bolivia. It, you'll, you, you won't regret it. Great episode, great atmosphere, great cinematography, great tension and drama and suspense. It was, it was just amazing. I love it, and I love Top Gear, and I want to meet Jeremy Clarkson because he's my hero. If Bubba was a car, this question comes from Mr. Progressum. If Bubba was a car, <laughs> what car would he be? Oh boy, let's see. We've got to pick something really slow, really sort of boxy looking, and maybe not very fat, or I guess that's really slow, not very fast, but really heavy too. What could be something that's slow, heavy? boxy looking. I think he reminds me most of a Ford Flex. Now I'm not sure how slow the Ford Flex is, but it's really boxy looking and it looks heavy as all heck. It looks like a tank. Uh, but yeah, that's that's probably the car. I think JB Ball over there is actually trying to help him stay away from me. Or help me get away from this guy, which I appreciate very much JB Ball. <laughs> you have earned a star on my friends list. You are a gold star kind of guy. The other guy, though, I'm just gonna I'm gonna promptly remove him from my friends list um, shortly after we're done here. Uh, <laughs> next is from Make Some Echo. What would you rather have? Your favorite car but not be able to drive it, or your least favorite car but be able to drive it? Holy crap! That is some question. I don't know. That, that is some question. Oh man, so, uh, if I had my favorite car, that'd be cool, but I couldn't drive it, so that wouldn't be so cool. So I'd just be able to look at it in my garage, and if I had my least favorite car, Pontiac Aztec, I'd be able to drive it all the time. Oh gosh, if I have to pick one, I would probably have to pick... Owning the least favorite car and being able to drive it because driving in itself is enjoyable. If I if, if I had my favorite car and couldn't drive it, I couldn't experience the joy of driving, then that would suck. So I'd have to pick, yes, I would own my least favorite car, but still be able to drive it. Look at this. Oh man, this guy is so annoying. Go away, you loser! <laughs> You're such a loser! Ah. Uh. Uh, next, we're running. We're 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 almost done here, so I'll I'll be free from this moron's um, stupidity soon. Oh God. Anyway, <laughs> uh, probably won't be doing this again. Uh, <laughs> crazy Minecraft cow. What's your favorite off-road vehicle? Oh, that's a good question. You know what? My favorite off-road vehicle is the vehicle I just purchased. <laughs> Because it's an off-road vehicle, technically, because it's an SUV. Uh, so I won't mention what it is. However, another favorite off-road vehicle of mine. Let's see. Let's pick something that I don't own. Um, man, you know what? Are hovercrafts off-road vehicles? They sure are. <laughs> I would have a hovercraft if I had to pick a favorite off-road vehicle. So that thing can just... It can hover above all the things. It'd be great. Let's do a little drift here with our caddy. That was a terrible idea. Um, so I guess I guess we're gonna keep it car related though. Mm, we're gonna I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, you know what I do like the Ford Raptor recently released. Well, relatively recently, the Ford Raptor is pretty cool. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, speaking of which, this guy. 
he's not what's he driving i couldn't tell the jeep cherokees are really cool too uh toyota tjs there's a lot of really cool off-road vehicles but i don't know i i guess right now if i had to pick something that i didn't purchase that i didn't just buy i would pick the uh the ford raptor maybe it's off-road vehicle right i guess it's a four by four really but I guess we'll just we'll just classify it as an off-road vehicle for now. Uh, last question, and I can escape these people. This guy especially. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Oh, so frustrating. I can't do anything. All right, here we go. Last question from Thomas Mitchell. How many cars have you owned? Uh, IRL. What are they? And what car do you want to own slash plan to own? Very good question to close off on. How many cars have I owned? Four officially counting the one I just got first car was a 2000 ZX3 Focus uh, in black second car was a 2004 Saab 9.3 Aero in red I love that car I don't really miss cars when I get rid of them but that car I missed oh man that is just that is some collision um, the, the car I owned after that was my Subaru WRX STI in World Rally Blue. <laughs> These people are just climbing the hills and hitting each other. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And now the car I currently own, which is white. I'll go as far to say as it's white, but crazy internet people have spoiled everything for you in that they stalk me and try to find where I live, judging by my car. But anyway, yeah, it's the one I own now is white. It's an SUV, um, and it's awesome. I love it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be. Oh wait, he had more. What car do you want to own slash plan to own? I want to buy and I plan on it. I plan on having like a 50s car of some sort. Maybe, maybe this one. Not in this shape though. This thing has seen better days. <laughs> maybe a Bel Air like this. Um, but yeah, the next purchase I think I make is gonna be like an older car, maybe even a muscle car. But I want something from the 50s to 60s. Uh, nothing newer and probably nothing older either um, but yeah that's that's what I plan to get and I and I hope that maybe next spring I can get it I hope you guys enjoyed this weird weird episode of Forza where I answer car related questions and drive around and get hit by this one guy I'm gonna have to remove him look at all these nice guys look they're just they're just hanging out bunny foo foo drifting around the corner little bunny foo foo drifting around the corner um, but that one guy, he's going to be removed very shortly. From now. There he is. <laughs> he's going to be removed from my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll, we'll go back to racing. We'll do some racing. Bye-bye, guys.